Hey guys, my name is Kubert and I have some exciting news. The Team Manic organization that I'm partnered with is giving away two $50 Roblox cards. If you want a chance to win, two lucky people can get it. So just make sure to check out the link in the description for that giveaway. And thank you guys so much for watching the video. Oh hey, quickly forgot, if you are part of the 85 percentile that are not subscribed to my channel, please make sure to drop that subscription as well as click the like on the video. Thank you guys so much. Hey guys, my name is Cuber, and today a brand new bad business update was just released and we received two new melee weapons, the brass knuckles as well as the hammer. So just looking at the hammer right quick, the damage seems to be 100 to 150 and the range of course as with all the melee weapons is 7. So going over to the brass knuckles, we have 75, 75. So this hammer does definitely hit a little harder, but I have seen on recordings from other YouTubers where it actually hits a lot slower. So although it's a little bit more powerful, there's definitely a little bit of a delay when using it but we're going to be equipping both here also a notable change here is that they actually modified one of the weapons so the here. sniper and lmg mag sizes have been updated so i think one of the more notable mag sizes i think was the m249 yeah so the magazine now holds 120 so let's go ahead and equip that just to try it out on this uh, recording here as well so just give it just a random camo doesn't really matter yeah the energy drink all right so cool let's go ahead and just jump straight into the game with the two new uh, melee weapons or the two new melee weapons as well as the m249 just to give it a shot here so we are in rocket facility so oh wow so immediately jumping into the game also how does the inspect look oh that was a fail oh it's just a basic inspect okay gotcha so dude honestly using this just feels so slow but we're gonna see if we can try to get a kill with it at least i don't know how well it's gonna do i mean basically it should be a one backstab if not whenever they're slightly damaged maybe i can hit them from the front with a one tap so let's go ahead and try it here killed him wow it felt like there was like a huge delay oh there we go oh wow it actually got him i don't know if that was a backstab for that qualified as one. Oh, there's this guy poor man boom okay <laughs> like there's a slight lag i don't even know how to deal with it man that's so funny yeah we're definitely gonna be switching over oh 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 Oh, I hit him from the front, but I guess it just didn't also register. Also going with the brass knuckles here. I bet a camo on the... Oh, whoa. Oh, wow, that's super fast. This is awesome. You have, like, this punching animation, but I bet the Damascus skin would look really good on the hammers, I was actually about to say. So let's see if we can actually get some people here. I've actually seen a little bit of games here where people are just running around with these because they're so fast. Like, look at this. Oh, my gosh. Little OP, I might I might want to add, but hey, man, we're always, we're always looking for a good melee to use. There's actually going to be a guy around here. He didn't even see me here. There's this guy. Oh, he just left the game. And they also added a few more things as update most notably i think they actually allowed a custom crosshair pass so now you can purchase a pass which i have actually done and can you can attach a decal id so you can use your own custom crosshairs which actually could be very viable depending on uh if you enjoy having your own customizable oh there we go there's that guy get this guy your own customizable crosshair though but regardless dude i really love these brass knuckles man you can just simply run around punching i could see a potential nerf to the fire rate of this uh possibly in the future for this weapon because this is a little op as as you know you can see me literally playing with it here i'm getting kill after kill with it we're actually on a pretty good streak with this as well Oh, and they also added a little, uh, a, a new menu, op or a new little thing to the leaderboard here. They actually tell you the region as well as the average ping of the lobby. So that's definitely something interesting as well. Dang, I wonder how long I can keep going like this. Oof! I wonder how long I can keep going, man. Here we go. Get this guy. Oh, we're, we're like one hit. Got him as well. Oh, I'm dead here. I'm somehow not dead. Somehow not dead. Okay. Somehow. Okay, so something that they did also release with this update was new pride skins as well as stickers So we go over to customize the skin We can see all the new listed universal skins here We have trans and pride which we have had before I think they made an update to pride as well But we also have pan non-binary lesbian gender fluid ace as well as bi So all those cameras are now available for you to use I specifically like the oops wrong menu I specifically like the pride with the rainbow color effect to it I really like that that looks really nice But nonetheless also they added some new stickers So we scroll down we have all the same kind of color schemes with these so we have uh, trans, bi, pan, lesbian, gender fluid, non-binary, ace, and pride as well. So just throw in the same st colored sticker there. It looks kind of ridiculous, but nonetheless, I do. I think these stickers are really neat, man. Yeah, there we go. So I think right there is actually a good spot. Maybe do like a, yeah, just do like all the colors here. Boom. Perfect. <laughs> all right. So, and also it didn't actually put on the other side here. I wonder if that's, uh, if that's intended. Yeah, probably because uh, this one's actually sloped. 
So interesting there. They also did a custom crosshair pass, as I was alluding to earlier. Oh, we actually got victory while we're sitting here doing this, but uh, we actually have a custom crosshair pass you can now purchase for 129 here. So if we look at this, you can actually go into your settings, and there is a custom uh, reticule setting here, so you can click. So you can give it the idea of the decal that you're loading in. I actually have uploaded a decal, but there's a slight little delay with uh, Roblox accepting decals, so I have to wait on it to get accepted. But I actually gonna have a little blue circle here as my uh, custom some reticule whenever it actually does get approved but yes know that this is now available to you some people have neglected to purchase it because they think this crosshair is just fine and that's totally okay to think as well um, so we also have the hold crouch button to prone on mobile is now um, is now available of course I don't play on mobile so that doesn't really affect me now the biggest improvement is spawning so now they actually implemented a line of si or line of sight checks so if someone is right next to you or sorry if you kill someone they won't actually spawn right next to you if you're within their line of sight so that's actually uh, pretty sick as well oh my gosh this absolutely collapsed dude there we go. I actually almost didn't get that. So yeah, the spawning improvements were definitely much needed. So also a faster King of the Hill capture and the hill must be captured at the start of the rounds now. So some of you may know that if the hill had not actually been taken yet, uh, what could happen was you just basically tap. So... Uh, before this update you could run up to it and the first one to the hill actually received it So now you must actually capture it for oh my gosh as I'm really sitting here just talking Oh my gosh, this magazine size is huge. That was crazy, man They were definitely still spawning in my line of sight It felt like but I imagine it's some sort of range that's applied dude. That's crazy, man We literally got like seven kills doing that um, also, sliding killers are now counted after a short time after sliding. So, to give context here, I believe before the update, you must have been in the middle of the slide killing someone to get it. So, as soon as it ended right about here, you wouldn't actually get the kill or it counted as a sliding kill. So, to make that a little bit easier for the getting a damask and stuff, you can now do this and still probably get the sliding kill. So, that's also the last addition here. And there's also been a small improvement to some of the melee weapons. I'm not really sure or what certain what that small improvement was, but I know that these are certainly like probably the best melee in the game now just because of how quickly it hits which i do believe they're th this may be nerfed but who knows man so switching right back here get this guy again dude poor guy man hold the crouch button i think i actually covered everything here on the list here oh yeah and less spawning next to enemies of course does come with it but yeah these are all the updates so most notably dude these brass knuckles are going to be insane to use i think this is definitely one of the highlights of this update but nonetheless, um, also, the magazine uh, size increase was also Rotating crazy. around with the hammer. Let's see how well we can get here. Uh, intuitively, I don't think it's a good weapon. Oh, there we go. Got him. That was actually a perfect little backstab there. Oh. Okay, got him as well. All right, Maybe not so find bad. some kills around here. All right, there's this guy right here. You have to, like, rear the hammer back right before you start to use it. I don't know. It's not, it's not really intuitive to use because you're so used to, to knives normally just kind of going super quick. But it does hit hard. So that's kind of the uh, catch-22 with this weapon. There. There we go. That was a good one. Got him. All right. Oh, there's this guy right here. Let's go ahead and rear it back. Okay. Okay. All right. Let me try this for a little bit here. Oh, he threw a grenade. I'm done. I am so done. Oh, no way. I actually got that, dude. All right. Okay. I can see it. Like, you have to pretty much prepare the wind-up. Okay. It is a little bit more viable than I thought, to be honest. Okay. Honest uh, first impression, it's it's really not as bad as I initially thought it was. Okay. So, it does hit really hard. Generally, you'll get a one-hit one, a one hit kill on this. Now, there are some rare instances where you don't, where it only hits for 100 instead of the 150. But, I mean, still, nonetheless, it's still really fun to use. So, oh, missed that. Got him. Okay. There we go. Awesome. Got him. Oh, no, I didn't. See, that's the rare occurrence where I don't actually get the backstab, nor do I get the 150 hit. But it's okay. I mean, it's still pretty fun I to use. I can definitely say confidently that the spawns are a lot better now. So thank you, Ethan and L, for doing that. That was awesome. You have to pretty much... There we go. You have to pretty much prepare it, man. You have to start before you... Like, you have to anticipate like that. Oh, oh no. There we go. Got him. Perfect. Oh, just dive down right quick. There's a lot of, lot of fire going on right now. Go ahead and chuck this just in case, though. Perfect. Actually, I think we're actually... Oh, no. We're going to actually win this. Cool. Got him. Oh, no. That needed to be a one hit, dude. Okay, there we go. That definitely needed to be a one hit right then, though. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Okay, I'm just getting assist at this point. There we go. And we got the victory for the round. So the hammer is definitely fun, but it's it's not as viable for certain as the brass knuckles. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy this update video, but please make sure to drop a like as well as subscribe and make sure to definitely check out that giveaway in the description. It is through Team Manic, which is a gaming organization that I am partnered with. They are sponsoring the two $50 Roblox gift card giveaways. So please make sure to check that out. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you did enjoy the video.